Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. You all know how I feel about Black Ops 4. I've made the rant. Um, there are several other things that I could talk about, that I could rant about, uh, that I probably will one day. But there was one thing, there was a singular thing that I actually liked about the Black Ops 4 beta, and that is Heist. Heist was that strategic gameplay. Heist was that gameplay where everything Treyarch was saying actually made sense about things uh, being planned in the future and thinking about what you're doing. It was way more tactical, it was way more strategic, and I actually enjoyed it. That being said, the time to kill was still really odd in the 1v2 situations. You know, that was just, and, and especially playing on PC where it's just you have no chance. I think I might want to do a separate video with um, kind of hypothetical situations with that as to why I dislike that because I think it's a conversation worth having, but I want to talk about Heist right now. Lots of people compare this to CSGO, completely see it, uh, completely see it. I've never played CSGO, but I kind of understand the concept, and the concept sounds similar to this. But I really like this. Um, I like kind of Every kill you get, you get more money. If you win the round, you get a lot of money. If you lose a round, you don't get as much money. So you gotta kind of fight back. And it really creates this cool kind of power fighting. You're fighting for power. So you can still lose, but if you're like really good on your team, you can soup yourself up to be a better soldier for the next round and all that stuff. And I really enjoyed it. Now, there might be, you know, I'm not the gameplay expert of Heist yet, um, but there might be some tuning things with the whole, um, money how much money do the winners get sometimes i felt like it could be a downward spiral for the losers if they lost one round or the other um or if you spend your money improperly i don't know that could just be a you thing i was kind of just playing around with it anyway um so i can't speak to the delicate and nuanced balances of the game mode but the basic concept worked very well in my opinion and one of the reasons it worked very well is because there was no specialist. This was the focus on the gunfights. This was the focus on the player versus player gunfights that should be what Call of Duty is. And this is weird to me because I hate, I despise Search and Destroy. Search and Destroy is so mind-numbingly boring and it's just so awful because it's filled with campers, it's filled with players playing dirty, and I don't know if that's the create a class system, and honestly it might be. It might be the fact that there's just so much bizarre stuff in the create a class system because Call of Duty always has to do something new and innovative in the create a class system every year, so it might just throw me off with that. But the fact that everyone starts off with a pistol, um, it's kind of weird at first, kind of bizarre to fight with pistols, it just feels weird, you know, it's not bad, it's just interesting. Um, I don't enjoy it that much, but eh, once you get your, your, your favorite weapon, it's not that bad. Um, after that, everyone starts with pistols. There's a common goal of grabbing money, so at least the games I played on the PC, everyone was really playing the objective, everyone was really going for it, and it felt really fun. I know, it was weird, I was having fun. And, um... It was nice because no one was like, like in search, you'll get people just like camping the bomb site. It's like, you can't do that here because you both need the money and you both need to take it and you both need to give it to the, uh, the pickup site. So both teams have the objective to play. Both teams have to push and be aggressive. And it just naturally creates this conflict of the two teams. And it's really genuinely great. And like I said, I like how you can spend money in your own unique way. There was one round where I was saving the the stupid, and I guess this is kind of bad, because this is probably not something I want in the game, but I was playing with it. I bought the little shock thing that Tempest has, a little piece of equipment, and I waited till like the final round to use it because I wanted that final round just to be like like a guaranteed win. So I used it, and what do you know? It was like a guaranteed win. You know, I just threw it down, and voila, voila easy kill. Um, so that you know that that gameplay balance maybe not the best, but um, it's interesting that you can buy those things, and the way they've grouped attachments is really interesting. Like I said, there could be a lot of balancing factors in this that I'm missing that need to be changed and that will fundamentally break the game or become the new meta and all that sort of stuff. I only played like maybe a handful of games to really get a feel for it, but for the most part, I enjoyed the fact 
that each team started on the same level. The winners got a little bit more money uh, because they were literally escorting the money, right? That makes sense. I feel like that's a fun little tie-in. And um, the losers uh, might need more money just to kind of give them a little bit more of an advantage or whatever, but I really liked it. And it was fast enough. I think that's important. You know, it was like, it wasn't like in search where you're just like waiting for somebody to plant the bomb and it's just so slow and boring. It was a lot, it was like a fast paced, um, really fun search and destroy game. You know, I always like the idea of search and destroy, especially in like competitive matches. I love watching competitive search and destroy, but like public matches, man, people play so slow and so dirty and it's just meh. This one, really fun, really aggressive and really interesting game mode. If I'm going to play Black Ops 4 multiplayer, it's going to be heist. And it might be Blackout, you know, I, I have to try Blackout. I've not really delved into any, really any of the huge uh, battle royale games, you know, even way long ago when they started with the Minecraft Hunger, Hunger Games, which I feel like no one's made that comparison. I feel like I'm on, I'm on, on a cartoon, like Minecraft Hunger Games is literally just what Fortnite is right now. It's it's weird. It's weird, but um, you know, I've not really delved into that H one Z one, not into that. Didn't get into PUBG or Fortnite, so it's like I'm gonna be interested to see what my own game, my Call of Duty, does with a huge battle royale games. I don't think I like the idea of battle royale because it's really luck based. Like, oh, he has a better weapon than me. That's why I don't like Fortnite. It's like, oh, they just found better weapons, and that's just luck. Like, I get the the competition of building and all that stuff but i just don't think i will enjoy the rng element of the the fortnite gameplay style and i don't know how they're going to implement it with black ops 4 with blackout so i'm kind of being trepidatious with that um but this game mode really love heist really enjoy heist mind you with the slow time to kill and the bad footsteps aside i i enjoy the idea of the game mode <laughs> but anyway that's all i have time for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching tell me your thoughts on the heist game mode i've seen a lot of praise from it uh, recently with uh call of duty multiplayer commentators and um well deserved too you know i was kind of not gonna say anything about it and i saw other people talking about it i was like no no i like this thing i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna throw my hat the game too you know i i like this game i like that game mode thank you guys so much for watching uh leave a like if you did make it this far into the video and tell me your thoughts of the heist game mode in the comment section below thank you guys once again and until the next absolutely beautiful black ops 4 morning well there's always zombies i'll catch up with you guys later and as always stay beautiful Make this look easy.